But cos my slava, straight woof, it was fucking grey and blue. What the fuck? He had a blue and grey stripe straight across his forehead. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? See, my dad were a bit of a loose cannon and he'd had batches of kids and wives and we were kind of second batch in, so no more were to come. And I fucked him up, right? Shit. That's what you get on your head, you just go, shit. That's what I did. So, sister's in a line. I says, right, what are we going to do? I'm like, fucking posh, I'm like, oh, oh, how are we going to rectify this? I'm like, I don't know how we're going to rectify it. What are we going to do? Remember in like early 2000s, Rimmel, did you use Rimmel though? Like blue Rimmel from Tazda. About six quid. <laughs> they look like they're being broad, haven't they? You're quite, well, right, nice. Dancing and that. Right, so she passes me blue Rimmel, so I starts massaging it into his chops. Just to try and blend this grey blue and whatever it and Barmer had done. Fucking magic, right? Boom. <laughs> But whatever they pumped him with to keep him in like a human form, because of the friction and me moving it, his fucking face started changing. <laughs> I shit myself. I didn't know, it just didn't, re didn't resemble my dad at all. The more I moved it, the more it fucking changed. Shit. Then them two were going off the red. You made it fucking worse, you made it fucking worse. Just proper in my head. So then I thought to myself, right, rewind if I do the same manoeuvre that I've done, if I do it in reverse, it should go back to looking like my dad. So I started rubbing it in reverse order, and it got fucking worse. Well, a good friend of mine got this from Amazon, right, to show you. <laughs> that <laughs> is not my father, but my God, it fucking looked like sloth. <laughs> it proper did. Frightening, that, innit? But my dad's like, I'm looking like, oh, no. <laughs> They've got blanket end. So I'm like, for fuck's sake. So, fuck. My dad looks like sloth. So, big and with degree, I was above us saying, like, well, we're going to have to go and tell the undertaker. And in my head, like, a joke coming straight away. Oh, what have I got to tell a wrestler for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Right, so, all three of us, right, we're going to have to go to office, main office, you know, and speak to the fella. So, he goes up, you know. It comes out all, you know, sympathetic. Is everything all right? Have you seen your dad? Is it... I said, there's a bit of an issue, sir. Uh, one I didn't foresee happening. <laughs> one of your fixtures yeah. skydived off the wall. <laughs> Jesus, in fact. Uh, hit my dad on the head. I don't know how it happened. Proper lied to an undertaker. I don't know what karma that will be. But <laughs> dived off and hit my dad on the head and then it created a dint, sir. So I've tried to rectify that with Rimmel. <laughs> And it's gone terribly wrong. He went, but he stroked me, bless him, went, I don't think it'll be that bad. Let me come and have a look. Let me come and have a look. So I goes in with Robin's door, and Ronan's still at it. No matter what they tell him. <laughs> Fuck off, Ronan. Right? He went, oh, I've never seen anything like that, what you've done. Um, I can only apologise for Jesus coming off the wall, but what have you done? I said, well, put foundation and try and rub it. <laughs> And then I tried to reverse me son and rub him back to get him back to being my father. Uh, and it hadn't worked, sir. So basically, we're two days off at funeral. And he just said to me, went, I can't sort this out in this time. So we're going to have to have future visits as a closed casket. Which didn't really help because we don't get along batches of siblings, you see. It's like a bit of a rivalry. <laughs> like we're second batch, third batch we're due in. And they can't see my dad's face because I've made him look like sloth. <laughs> God bless him. So, that was the story that I've come to tell you, and that's it. That's Rebecca Brown, everyone.